Equation group are perhaps the most sophisticated advanced persistent threat, at least that we know about. Their skills at developing exploits and malware seem to be unparalleled by any other rival group, and appears to be superhuman to any normal computer engineer. Although despite this, they have been involved with some controversy in the past, especially when it comes to the WannaCry attack. When looking at threat actors, especially those with potential ties to governments, information can be scarce or unreliable due to their covert operation. But this is what we know so far. The computer security company, Kaspersky, were the initial group to discover the presence of Equation Group and release this information at their yearly summit in early 2015 in Mexico. They revealed that the group had been around since early 2001 and at the time had at least 60 individual members. They had reason to believe that this group is tied to the Tailored Access Operations Department within the National Security Agency, or NSA, of the United States of America. Further evidence of them being tied to the NSA is supported by the discovery of NSA code words found within malware that was allegedly produced by Equation Group. It's suspected that this group have been involved in over 500 operations in 42 countries. Some hacking groups, or APTs, are highly capable of exploiting low-hanging fruit in websites, or conducting expert phishing campaigns and other social engineering attacks, and from a simple vulnerability can cause mass disruption. However, Equation Group on the other hand go as far to surpass that of a seasoned penetration tester and deep into exploit development. Their surgical attention to detail has allowed them to find multiple vulnerabilities within the Windows operating system which can result in a critical security flaw. Not only that, they're spectacular at covering their tracks and bypassing anti-malware detection systems and firewalls. Some exploits have been credited to this group, involving Irate Monk, which would infect a hard disk drive's underlying firmware, which is the software used to operate the physical disk. So even if a hard drive were to be formatted and a new operating system was to be installed, the malware planted on this device would still remain. There are reasonable sources that link Equation Group to the Stuxnet cyber attack on the Iranian Nuclear Weapons Enrichment Facility. This attack resulted in nuclear centrifuges exploding while reporting perfectly normal telemetry data to the monitoring systems. This operation was made even more impressive that this was an air-gapped network that was breached. Equation Group were also responsible for the development of Eternal Blue and Double Pulsar, which were highly effective tools to compromise Windows machines over a local network. It's unknown what these tools were designated for, or if they had been stockpiling them to keep them as cyber weapons. Regardless, they found themselves in the middle of the WannaCry attack as a result of the tools being leaked to the public by another group called the Shadow Brokers. The tools were allegedly stolen by Harold T. Martin, who was contracting for the NSA. He was then later arrested and prosecuted, although the Shadow Brokers were still active after his prosecution. Equation Group could be seen as a serious threat from other nation states that aren't politically aligned with the United States of America. And when your funding comes from the defense budget of the USA, it's no wonder why these capabilities are extreme. While it's certain that this group is involved in current operations right now, the highly secretive nature of this world hasn't afforded us any recent information as of yet. For now though, that's a highlight of what we know so far, so post your opinions below, I'll be keen to hear what you think. Anyways, I've been Jason from JasonSec, thanks for watching, drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode, and I'll catch you in the next one.